hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is winfrey thank you for passing by so uh, we're gonna do some hair today i had braids in my hair that i just that i recently took out a few I, I, it's just like a week ago and uh, every time i don't usually leave my hair out but when i do the only style that is easier for me to leave my hair out is uh, palm rods so I usually do palm rods in my hair and uh, I just thought of uh, doing it here today with you guys because I figured there might be some people who are still struggling doing it on their own and besides you get to save some money if you do it yourself so that's what we are going to do today we're going to do some palm rods and i'm going to show you all the products i'm going to be using in this video so if you're one of those people who want to learn how to do palm rods in their own hair just keep on watching and please subscribe if you are new and let's get it right into this video this is my hair Every time I wash my hair, it shrinks, it shrinks. This is how it usually is. I have short hair. It's not that short, but because it shrinks. So the first product that I'm gonna use is this leave-in conditioner. You can use any leave-in conditioner, but this is, this particularly is, uh, it's called the Brazilian secret uh, thingy. So you can use any conditioner, any leave-in conditioner you have. The sole purpose is to moisturize your hair before anything else. So I'm going to grab this and get in there. I'm going to take a generous amount. So now what I like to do is uh, I usually dry my hair before I put the palm rods in there. Some people do it wet. I don't like doing it. I try doing it wet, but uh, um, I like the I like the length it gives while it's dry. Because when it, when it's wet, as you can see, my hair is all shrinked, like it's shrinked. So. If I if I put the palm rods right um, now, the length won't be that uh, like I, I won't like it. It would be too low. I I would like it to be a little bit up with some kind of volume. That's why I always uh, blow dry first, kind of stretch my hair a bit before I do the palm rods. So right now, let's get into blow drying. This is what I use. It gives me a nice stretch with a blow dryer. So as you can see, it's a little bit stretched out right now. It's going to be easy for me to roll up the hair. So uh, once I'm done, uh, once I'm done stretching out my hair with the blow dryer, I usually then uh, oil it, oil my scalp before anything else. Cause it's not good to apply oil and then use heat on your hair. Cause it's like frying your hair, you know. So uh, that's why I only use this and then dry up my hair when there isn't any oils if there were any oils like you you'd see a lot of smoke coming out of the hair because it's oil and heat you know what comes up next so now i'm gonna oil up my scalp before i proceed on to the next step this is what i use this is the um this is organic coconut oil this is what i put on my scalp as well as my whole entire hair you can just get any coconut oil this is coconut oil it does it doesn't matter what uh, what brand i'm using but it's organic coconut oil if you can see inside so what i like to do because i cannot just reach in there 
I usually have uh, empty jars with me. So this is why I, I put my coconut oil. I just scrape it from under, underneath. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do right about now. I have my little plastic spoon right here. We are gonna skip. See that? Yeah, coconut oil. So I'm gonna put that here. Add some more. Yeah, that's enough for now. So I'm gonna oil up my scalp really quick. So once I'm done oiling my scalp, I like to rub some oil on top of my hair for moisture because you know fussy hair tends to be really dry. The more oils you can put in there, the better. And for me, um, I like coconut oil. It's really nice for, uh, for moisturizing and it doesn't block the it's very light, so I'm trying to say. Doesn't block the pores, it can easily breathe through. Okay, I have here different uh, sizes of pomade. I'm gonna show you. I have this being the biggest size, and then I have this, and I have the smallest one. So I have three different sizes of palm rods i like to use the smallest one um at the back of my hair because i have a tapered uh, i have a tapered cut so my hair is uh shorter at the back and as you can see slightly longer at the top so i use this short i use these uh thin ones at the back and just a bit on the sides and then i use some little bit of these medium ones and these blue ones, the biggest one, I use them at the top. So you're going to see how I do that as we go right into this. And uh, the other thing that I use, is I use mousse for hold. You know, this being 4C hair, you can't easily just wrap it around and it will be all curly. No, it doesn't work like that. Actually, some people's hair do. If you have like, uh, people who have like uh, 4B, 4A, 3c something like that they can easily do anything to their hair it's naturally like their curl is a bit uh, more defined than ours than mine i don't know if anyone has my kind of hair but um if you try to curl your hair without adding mousse or anything for hold you won't actually love the result so the secret is mousse you need moss so i'm going to be using this particular moss you can use any kind of moss you have there are so many different ones and, and what i like to do is uh i put it onto this uh, lid like so and then i'm going to be picking it up from here you're going to see how i roll so guys if you can see I started off with a few pieces and I'm gonna show you how I do the back. So here's my mousse and the raw. So this is how I do it.
so guys as you can see i'm done with the most of done with the back and i'm done with the sides so i'm only left with the middle so what i like to do once i get here is uh, if you can see i've been rolling going uh, the sideways and this going backwards then go this going to the side but when i reach at the top i like to roll it um to my face towards my face i have no particular reason why i just love to do it that way so that's what i'm gonna do using the big palm roots So guys, as you can see, I'm done with the entire head. All is done. I'm gonna sleep like this. We'll take them out tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. So I'm back guys. It's the next day as you can see. I'm just from doing my makeup and I'm now ready to take out these palm rods. And the things that we are gonna need for this, uh, you're gonna need some serum. This is this is what I'm gonna use. It's called the silky something. You'll need any kind of serum. You're gonna need any kind of serum because you don't need the cows to tangle. And uh, if you can see, I slept with. The, I added this little net so that the pomades wouldn't move in the night. Because the fact that I have short hair in the back, if I do not secure my palm roots with something, sometimes I get up when they are everywhere. As you can see, <laughs> they are already coming out before I even touch them. From the back, that's how it normally is. So if you are like me, you have short hair in the back, you're going to need to secure your hair in the night with one of these if you can see yeah so now i'm gonna take this out yes so as you guys can see once you're done removing your palm rose, this is what you're gonna be looking like so the trick here is to separate one by one and i'm gonna be using this uh, serum the one i told you i'm gonna put a little bit here so that i can separate these gonna take this and then separate it like so and I'm gonna roll so that it can give volume you're gonna have to remember how you rolled it and that's the same way you have to it's the same direction you have to follow when you When you are styling, as you can see here what I'm doing. This is gonna take you some time guys, you just need to be patient because this creates a volume so you're gonna have to take your time. Now we're gonna have to lift it with this. We're gonna do some 
lifting this helps to get rid of the lines that are usually created by the roads plus it gives volume as well you're just gonna lift only from underneath and then you're gonna have to start uh, styling it as you want as for me i like to keep this i like to keep the sides like uh down that's why you're seeing me press them in the back is usually tricky because you don't see it but I use my hands to kind of tell what might be happening. So guys, so far, this really takes some time, but once you are done, you're gonna have to style it however way you want. This is how I style mine. I like my sides to be down, like low. And then I lift this up to make it, uh, like to kind of make, to kind of give it a tapered look. Since I have short hair on the back. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna do some edges and I'm gonna be using the got to be glued gel so yeah this is the finished look this is uh this is how i do my pomades i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial i hope you've learned something and uh um yeah this is it let me show you the back i don't know how the back looks like but i hope it's okay this is it as you can see i love it all right guys this is it thank you so much guys for watching if you are new please subscribe like share and comment and thank you all guys for your support hope you've learned something today and that's gonna be it thank you for watching see you in my next video